In the lectures about human and organizational factors, we are talking about the models of risk communication, and we will speak now about the goals. We are talking about the many different goals of risk communication. Goals of public risk communication can be different, and they are namely five in number. The first one, the first goal of risk communication can be to build trust in the person who is initiating the communication, which means that your goal can be to build trust in the emitter, be it an institution, a person, an, organi an organization, etc. Goal of risk communication number two can be to raise awareness in the uh, population, to raise awareness in the receiver of the communication message. Goal number three can be to educate the population or the citizens in general, generally speaking, the receiver of the communication. Number four, you may want to trigger a risk communication campaign in order to reach an agreement among different players, different stakeholders. And finally, goal number five, last but not least, you may want to trigger a risk communication campaign in order to motivate people for action. What you should bear in mind is that a risk communication campaign is quite difficult to uh, measure in the outcome because different communication strategies can vary according to different goals. You also have to bear in mind that the success on a risk communication campaign depends on the effort of the risk communication. Number three, you should bear in mind also that multiple purposes and measure of success may vary. And so what is really important is to do a needs assessment. We'll define needs assessment later on in this presentation. Different strategies may vary according to different goals, which means that simple vivid risk communication messages are best for raising awareness. For example, uh, you should consider the option of a shocking picture if you want to raise awareness. On the other hand, a shocking image is not really the best option if you want to reach an agreement between different parties. Needs assessment is crucial and needs assessment is the answer to different questions. Number one, who to communicate to. Number two, what to communicate. Number three, why to communicate about a particular risk. So you should perform a needs assessment if you want to assess the reasons why you are doing a particular kind of risk communication campaign. Without needs assessment, if you don't new, do re needs assessment, risk communication can lead to lowering the importance of fears, of values, of beliefs, and generally speaking, you can reduce the individual or group priorities. And this can lead to failure in the sense that you don't provide data that are addressing community concerns. So you miss the target because you did not locate it and your risk communication campaign can result in partial communication, which is not successful. In these slides, we explained what are the different goals of risk communication. In the next presentation, we will talk about the different risk communication approaches. Thank mm -hmm. you.